Hey, Ms. Brantley, this is Steven. I am sending you a video because my dad is currently using our printer so I can fax stuff to you and stuff like that. But anyways, I'm just going to create this video because I thought it was a novel idea. Um, right now I'm doing the acute right and obtuse triangle. I'm going to show you the acute right obtuse triangles and how I made them. And then later I'll do the scalene and isosceles triangles. But first on our list, I am going to show you the acute triangle, how I made that. Okay, so here is my things. Sorry that they're in Sharpie, but it was only to darken them so you could actually see them. The acute triangle is the blue triangle, which is right here. Um, to create this, I made this line right here and this line right here bisect right here. That is one of the points of the blue triangle. The other point I had to create by making this arc up here. Then the last point, which is right here, is the culmination or bisection of the arc and the intersecting lines. Um, after that, I just connected the dots with a pencil, then drew it over with blue Sharpie. And so that is my cute triangle. My right triangle is sort of hard to see on here. But it is this red triangle that goes from this point, where the 90 degree mark is, up to this top point where the X, this X is that I made with my compass to cause to make these two bisecting and intersecting lines. And the third point is right here. It's a point that's over here. Um, so I just connected the dots on those, and that made me my right triangle. My obtuse triangle is this black one that goes from the bottom corner over here to this top arc that I had to extend of this arc and to here. I connected the dots on that and made this obtuse triangle. Um, now I'm going to talk about my scaling and isosceles triangles. First, I made this line. Then I drew this circle around it, and this circle actually helps me so that I can make my scaling triangle, which is the blue one, which I have to put one of the dots outside of this circle. The other dot goes on, on the circle exactly, and the other dot is on the line that's towards the middle. So after I did that, I connected the dots after I made these three points. One outside, one on, and one on. The next one is the isosceles, which is a um, two congruent sided um, triangle, which is this red one here. I have a point over here, a point over here, and a point over here. Then again, I used the points and I put them on the circle. Then I played these two arms, the congruent arms because this one and this one does not look the same and this one and this one does not look the same so I made these two anyways um now I'm going to talk to you about my um equally angular and equi um length triangle this is my equally angular and equally length triangle um equal sided my, I'm sorry these the red marks are mean that this is an equally angular triangle, which generally means that it's 60 degrees on all sides uh, on these angles. The X up here is what I made with my compass. Again, I highlighted everything in Sharpie so it can be easily seen. And that is where my compass mark is. Um, that was that's one of the points for this triangle. There are another points here and another points here. This is a line, this is another line, this is another line. These lines are all equal to each other. So the yeah, these are all equal, the blue marks. And then my other one, 